Saving an endangered species habitat on a Florida golf course proved to be a challenge, but the U.S. Department of Agriculture was able to cooperate with local agencies to restore the habitat of the endangered Okaloosa darter. There were six isolated populations of the darter that we were trying to uh, co-mingle by removing culverts and obstructions for the fish to uh, breed. The golf course, located on Eglin Air Force Base on Florida's Panhandle, contains culverts that are homes to the darters. But the culverts had become detached. USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service worked with state agencies, the golf course, and the Air Force to get the culverts rejoined and the pathways cleared so all the fish could mingle. All of this is to prevent the sediments from entering the darter streams, which were you know, inundating and smothering the vegetation in their habitat. So far, the effort has helped the darter population increase greatly in its natural habitat. And I think roughly around two to 3,000 darters have been increased just because we did this project. This is one major step with the Air Force Base to ensure that the darter uh, will continue to thrive and that hopefully in the future they'll be able to downlist this species. It's amazing to see the success in a very short period of time. Uh, the fish population has grown exponentially. Certainly the wetland areas uh, that were disturbed have begun to heal themselves uh, and the vegetation is growing in great. For the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Bob Ellison.